conference meeting. My name is uh, Rafik Damak. I'm from Tunisia. And uh, so I'm, I'm not sure how many of you attended uh, IGF before. So who is, uh, let's say, can those uh, who are uh, attending for the first time the IGF raise their hands? Okay, so we need some history then. Um, so uh, maybe you don't know, but we have uh, what we call the dynamic coalition. So that's can the kind of group, multi-stakeholder group, where people can be involved. So it's quite informal, uh, and uh, we can discuss about many internet governance issues, but for uh, specific topics. So you can have about net neutrality, about freedom of expression, and so on. And in uh, 2009, in Sharm el Sheikh, uh, there were several groups of people and individuals uh, and organizations. And that time, we decided that we should have a dynamic coalition on internet governance for youth. Um, the idea is not just for youth just to participate, to be here, or to, uh, to be in some uh, children protection workshops and so on, but really to be a part of all the process and all discussion and uh, session. Uh, since 2009, so that's almost uh, four years, one of the problems with, uh, I think, with the youth, they, they grow up someday and they get older. And uh, it's a time to, uh, to say, to, for a transition and to have uh, new people joining the coalition to take the leadership. Uh, myself, I'm just uh, doing what uh, is more housekeeping to keep this dynamic coalition, to keep contact with all our existing members. And I hope this uh, meeting to be uh, the start for a new phase for uh, the coalition, you know, to, to define new goals, a new roadmap. So I see that we have many new people here, so it's good to join, and then you can set up your the agenda and the roadmap. Um, but I think we can start first is to get your uh, opinion if, um, about several workshops and uh, from the perspective of the youth, how do you see if the youth uh, voice were uh, heard, if it was expressed, and what do you think if... Um, if you really think that the youth were enough represented in uh, IGF. So, do we have any volunteer to start with? Nobody attended any youth workshop or youth related issues workshop or has, a, okay, yes sir. Um, hello, I'm, Nat, I'm Vivian from NAT Mission of Dog Asia organization. So actually, I have been the panelist for several youth workshops, and actually I found that um, the voice of youth is not enough in this idea because of the number, and as well as I think the adults are not really treasure our opinions, especially for we who are the first time to join the IGF. And it's really that, um, actually so many, many workshops um, many adults say that they treasure the youth opinion, but nevertheless, when youth like we attend the social gathering um, event like the cocktail party or etc., actually they don't like they, they don't want to talk to us, or even though we greet to them, they think that our opinion are not well enough for them to listen. So it's hope that through these workshop, we may really do something to show the adult that actually we care about the internet and that uh, we hope to do something and we hope to raise their awareness towards our voice. Thank you. Uh, thank you. That's, uh, that's interesting, uh, about, uh, particularly about social gathering that you, you, don't, you think that it's not easy to approach adults or they, they really don't care. Um, so what do you think it can be a solution what you suggest? I don't know, but at least we have to cultivate a concept that there are youth to participate in IGF and they are eager to social with the adult. 
because we actually approach many different kinds of adults in the social gathering event, but it seems that they are not interested in us, even though we look young. But in many workshops, they always say that, oh, we, are going, we have to empower the youth, we have to include the youth opinions, but when we are trying to talk to them, they are not interested in our opinions. Thanks, yeah. Um, I see it's kind of, you know, um, it's, uh, some they try to patronize about the youth. There is a lot of mention of the youth. But some, even in some workshop, you, it's about the youth, and you find all over uh, 40s people uh, in the panel. And uh, uh, as a coalition, we made several statements to be uh, clear about that, that we need really at least one youth panelist in each uh, session, main session and panel. It's not just about when it's about youth issues for all workshops, but unfortunately we still have diversity problem uh, within IGF is not enough enforced in all workshops even if it's in the in the requirement if you uh, submit a workshop proposal it's in the requirement but it's not in enough enforced um, so okay yeah so hello I'm Josh from I'm in ninth grade in International School Bangkok in Thailand and I'd like to add on to the point that it's possibly the, m the greater implementation of youth into programs like they said sure they can say oh we value the youth but I think it's actually it's like them saying it but not acting upon it and so I think it's a change in mindset which is needed because especially for the internet being something that's I think that's going to be possibly used much more in the future and thus the youth is the future as well and thus Adults should possibly make that connection and thus value youths more as it is the youth's future. And thus, youths should shape their own future. And so I think it's just that they need to, um, they also need to change their mindset in the sense that they are the next generation and thus they should be given a greater say on how it's shaped. Okay, but uh, how... What do you suggest concretely? Concretely, I suggest possibly a grab, like you said, probably more implementation, implementation of youth panelists, because I think first that there's going to be initial reluctance from adults, but I think if it's enforced a little bit and more youths are implemented, then people can uh, adapt to that idea of having a greater youth say. Okay, so any other comments? Do we have any remote participants? No, okay. <laughs> so um, we have this coalition, as I said, it needs to be uh, maybe more dynamic and to, uh, we need new blood, new ideas. So how do you see it, it as a platform? You, for, because I see there are many newcomers. How is it um, is as platform so to advance and advocate for more youth uh, participation? Can you please introduce Thank you. Ginny uh, Taupade. I work with ECPAT International. We work on children's issues. Now, this is the first time for me attending this event, and we focus a lot on children and youth participation. And I think we recognize the limitations of participation at events, you know, and it's, it cannot be representative. It's highly selective. And we were just discussing in another workshop also that it's, I mean, how many youth can really actually come to an event like this? It's very expensive. So what we need to focus, and I think in, in a platform like this, is, which is a great opportunity for uh, youth participation, is how can IGF, institutionalize uh, youth participation in its processes. So I think this is just one of the opportunities to participate at, participate at the events and always by highly representative and selective. But what are some of the mechanisms that can be instituted so that the larger number of youth can participate through, you know, through in its policies and programs. And I think that it is already happening. I'm not very well informed of all the things that's going on. And one of, and, and setting up of indicators also to demonstrate the impact of participation. For those who are here already, I know you said that, you know, you've represented in different panels, workshops. Can there be a monitoring mechanism to make sure 
the, the perspective, the recommendations of the youth, how have that been uh, taken into account in the final outcome documents? Maybe that's one, one thing maybe to this uh, coalition can also monitor to see how many uh, youth participated in the workshops and how it was reflected in the final outcome and what were some of their recommendations and to set up some mechanism, maybe prioritize that and then this group can take it forward. Which one do we want to focus on how that can be taken forward? Thank you. Uh, thanks. That's, um, that's interesting to have a matrix, I guess. But so we can ask, uh, send a request to the secretary to get more uh, statistics about the participation and uh, also in the panels, which is uh, quite important. Um, any question? Any comment? Um, actually, um, I would like that the Youth Commission could be held earlier for the next year because I think it is a great platform for all the youth to gather together to know each other before we become the panel for the workshops or chair the workshop. Because actually for the, uh, this year IGF, we, um, the NAC mission has met the TALNET and also the INSAFE youth. But because we do not see each other beforehand, so when we, uh, when we go to the workshop and become the panel together, actually there are some communication problems between us. So I believe that actually the youth clinician can be a good platform for us to meet each other first. Uh, okay, uh, about the coordination. Uh, I think uh, from NET mission we have some, some members in the coalition, and usually before any IGF we ask members if they have any workshop they are organizing or they are participating and try to to list all of them and to coordinate. If it, we want to make uh, uh, this meeting more early, it's possible. Um, it really depends to uh, the secretary and the schedule, but we can request that for the next next year, maybe if, even to have it in day zero, so it's uh, before the IGF and uh, as a pre-event, so we can we can coordinate, but still it also depends you know, um, when people come. So maybe in the first day or day zero can be a solution. Okay, uh, any other comment? Yeah. Thank you. Hi, Theo. I'm, I'm David from Dot Asia. And for Dot Asia, we're supporting programs of yeah, hi. And we are supporting programs of the mission and encourage youth to participate on um, in the internet conference issue on the discussion issues. And so now you just mentioned a point of um, getting um, more earlier preparation for the youth to share their opinions or share how they will be uh, having different workshops in, in IGF. I think it's very good ideas because it's, for me, it's the first time for me coming to um, the IGF. And we have attending a P event feature, uh, a PM event date, which is organized by ISOC. Um, for the ISOC, they're, they're having sharing uh, the model of multi stakeholder approach and, and engaging uh, more people to our uh, newcomers to, to know about how they will be experienced in a few more days in, in, the, I, uh, in, in the IGF. So I think it, it would be great for um, like that mission or like the other organizations that have previously attended in IGF to share their opinions or share their experience, uh, previously the experience or, or also promoting their events in the IGF for the P event day, I mean uh, in the day zero. It would be very great uh, if um, the coalition can we do something like this, or, or we can also contribute our, our, uh, our ideas on how the workshop can be of the first very first day. And yeah, I, I think that for for the coalition we we are already in, or the members of coalitions, um, we can contribute our, our ideas on on holding the events on, on for, for, for the PE event days. Okay, thanks. Um well, uh, you, you are mentioning uh, ISOC, they have much more resources. We don't have such resources, just a coalition of individuals and organizations. We, we don't have resources quite informal. Uh, ISOC, they have staff, and uh, so they can do this, I think. But we, we may at least uh, ask, uh, how to say, for meeting room and so on, and day zero, that can be easily done. And for uh, bringing people, we cannot do that. I think it's uh, up to organization to provide enough funding, fellowship program, and so on. 
uh, to have uh, more young people from over all the world. So uh, it's, it's still lacking. But we can work on that, I think, uh, in uh, maybe define some strategy, some coordination. Well, um, any other question, comment? Yes. Age group? For the youth. I mean, well, are you uh, following UN guidelines? Or yeah. are you fo following national guidelines, which, as you said at the beginning, varies from country to country? I, just because I'm a newcomer, so I just wanted to understand what is the definition of youth for this coalition? I, I think we really never uh, succeed to have uh, consensus about that, but we usually we follow more than UN guidelines that I guess still 35 years, but also. You know, when we talk about youth, uh, you can have children, teenagers, and uh, young adults. So, including all of this and ju just the same group is also challenging. So, uh, we have, I guess, several stakeholders within the same uh, same group. Are you uh, saying under 35, 14 to 35? You, UN 35. is 14 to 25, under 25. So 35, 35. 35. Because also, you know, if you have, we want to involve government. It's hard to ask government representative uh, and, uh, so we we are we we welcome everybody but mostly we have really uh, young people involved so. okay any any comment or how to say is how to to move forward yes okay, okay. Oh, thank you um i want to uh, i'll be clarified on the first point i i i know that we that uh, i know that to encourage more uh, youth to be participate in in the IGF is a bit difficult because, like the ISO, they got the the fundings to support different members in different chapters in different regions to get into the ICANN. But uh, so I'm sorry, I, I mean uh, going to the IGF. But, but um, I would suggest that we can like because for the youth coalition now nowadays we already got like um, Chownet or Net Mission or like. Um, Previously, um, I, I just met guys in InSafe. They they have already attending um, attending the IGF. So I think for um, for the P event day, we can like um, at least getting these kinds of organizations um, thinking any kinds of workshop we can having the capacity buildings uh, activities on the first day, like half day half day workshop, um, to at least encourage um, or strengthen the networking or, or the bondings in between for the youth which already um, joined the, uh, the IGF firstly. And, and if we got this kind of stuff um, during in the coming years and, and in, in the coming sense, I, I think that for the, for the years after us, it will got more and more youth can know that, oh, it, it got some supporting programs in, in ICANN. And it's got uh, a network of different youth going together. And we can properly, if we can join it, um, then we can uh, have some kind of support and network in between. Yeah, that's my point. Thank you. Uh, okay. Um, well, that's a uh, heavy program, uh, capacity building and so on. Um, um, how to say? Uh, yeah, there are several organizations they are bringing um, young people, but I think what's still lacking is also diversity. Um, like we don't, we don't have so many from Africa, Latin America, and so on. And uh, <coughs> it's not we, it's just to clarify when we talk about youth issues, it's not just about you know children protection. It's really about how young people can participate in the internet governance process and to have a, a say in many issues. Like we organized it before in Venice about the copyright. Uh, copyright workshop and it was interesting because you know we talk about piracy and so on we rarely hear the opinion of young people but in that time we could we have um, a pirate party representative in the European Parliament and so on really young people who are in, already involved in several processes so it's not just mm, they are coming to learn but they are already involved um, okay, but can, we can think about capacity building, so it can be kind of an item and uh, strategy to be set by a new group of, uh, we, ha we have existing group of people, but we need, uh, 
other new people to join, to be involved, and to participate how to set new strategy for the group. Uh, I must say, I myself, I'm just trying to handle this transition phase, and I hope that we can have new leadership. I'm 32 years old. I don't think I'm that young anymore. And um, I want really more young people to, to get involved and to, uh, uh, to have influence on, the, on IGF. And not just on IGF, but all IG processes if possible. And not just to focus on um, kind of, um, you know, that uh, sometimes they kind of silo about youth issues. It's, it should be much more and beyond that. Okay. Um, Yes, ma'am. Can you please introduce yourself first? Yes. yes, my name is Katarina. I'm from uh, the International Clearing House on Children, Youth and Media in Sweden. And um, this is the second IGF I'm attending. I thought uh, for, to have youth participants in uh, more panels that are not specifically addressing youth issues Perhaps if youth organizations uh, working with internet governance could be listed on the IGF site. So any moderator uh, or who's looking for youth uh, panelists could uh, contact a relevant organization to, because I think one of the problems is that it's difficult for someone setting up a panel to uh, get in contact with uh, youth organizations or to find youth representatives to have on a panel. So maybe if they, there could be like a listing of, of organizations on the IGF website for anyone to contact. Mm, yes, we, we tried before kind of to ask that we, to be uh, a contact point and uh, why not to reach a panel, panel let's say, workshop organizer to include young people. Uh, another way uh, to use what exists already is we have what we call um, resources, something I forget. That. You, can, you, you can submit your name, indicate your view, your interest, and so on as a resources. And if a uh, workshop organizer want to, you know, to find, they, they can use that listing that exists in the uh, in the website of uh, IGF, uh, but we, yeah, we, 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 we may, we should kind of maybe provide a list of organization. The coalition itself can be a contact point. We, uh, and I think to be maybe more proactive is to reach our workshops because it's, it's I think so to, to, to work proactively and yes. uh, perhaps the uh, workshop proposals and then contact them organizers yes. directly. Say if you need youth participant in your panel. We well, can help you. Yes, because how to say? Um, well, it's, it's really beyond the just youth issue. But uh, many works, you know, workshop organizers they tend to contact the people they know already, and that's why we have really big problem of diversity. And we need to push the mag during the preparation for IGF to uh, take care about that because having young panelists is a requirement. But the problem is still not enforcement about the diversity, gender, geographical diversity, and so on. So, um, as I said, maybe we, now we have several suggestions, for example, to have kind of metrics about the participation, maybe capacity building, maybe organizing early hour meetings. But one of the thing that we discuss a lot in the coalition, which is not, which is, we, we should not just focus on IGF. Between IGFs, we, we have to do things. Because there is also some process like um, uh, open consultation, and there is a lot of preparatory uh, process that we, we should uh, be involved in. And that's why um, I, I, I really want to emphasize that, that if you want uh, young people to be involved with that, they should really about along the air to be in several process, they can learn a lot. One of the easy things is to make statements. And uh, unfortunately, like, um, we didn't do that last year, and probably not this year, but in uh, Sharmavir, I think, uh, and Venus, 
we could make statement in the stock, uh, stock taking session. It's kind of almost the before the, the last uh, clo uh, before the closing session. It's kind of open forum. We made the statement at the time, and you can find our yeah. Is on the website already. It's ycig.org. You can find all our uh, yes. You can find all our previous statement, what we did, and also please join the mailing list. It's open membership, so everybody can join, and uh, you can get our updates, and you find more information. It's because there is history how this was formed and. Uh, the people in that time, uh, as I say, the problem, young people get older too, so, and they move to something else, and that's why as dynamic creation is important, uh, we are different from other dynamic creation because we need to, uh, to build the continuity, so new people come to take the lead from the predecessor and so on. Okay, so what I, I can suggest, um, we have several members who are not here uh, I would suggest that you join the mailing list and uh, then we can start really discussing what, who those volunteers who can just take the lead it's, it's not the idea of having leadership or it's, it's not top down even I was there just I do coordination handling the website the mailing list and so on So, um, but what we can discuss what we can do from now till the IGF, I think, in Istanbul, and how you think that we can improve the youth participation. It's not just to have young people hanging around the IGF, but to have a real how to influence. And we expressed that several times in the statement. I'm not sure they, they get the point. I understand. It's interesting. I, I never had this um, feeling about the, even in social gathering, they, they don't care, the adults. So what we can do to improve, how we can be more proactive. And it's up also to young people to, uh, to suggest or to recommend uh, a way to improve things. So. And I want really to hear other attendant with us, so it's not just, it should not be just a few people uh, speaking. I'm, I'm not, don't worry, I'm not such a you. <laughs> but just, you know, uh, it should not be just uh, how to say, I'm myself speaking a lot. I, I, were, I really want to hear everybody, several opinions, and to get that diversity of uh, feedback. Okay, uh, can we have a volunteer or at least someone from Indonesia? It's, uh, it's really important how we can involve locals. <coughs> Is there anyone from Indonesia? Yes, so please. Do we have a remote participant? No? Uh, I think never. Uh, hello, thank you. Uh, I'm Helmi. I'm a lecturer. And uh, lately, I would like to do a kind of research actually, but how, the, how my students use internet in correlation with their education. But I want to show that uh, in some times ago, I read some cases in Indonesia that teenage uh, become a victim when they make their friend, online friend, through Facebook. So I don't know about how Facebook or another administration start to protect their user so the user will be safe, not will be bullying or will be become a victim through the social media. That's what I want to say. Yeah. Thank you. Okay. Oh well, cyberbullying. That's that's not easy uh, topic. Um, okay. Um, we, we can, if I understand, maybe we can how to to say how to see how we can involve uh, private sector and also government more in our uh, discussion and to let them really to be uh, in contact directly with young people and to hear them. So um, we can be, we can facilitate, but we cannot do uh, as coalition, because you know, it's coalition of organization already 
involved in the um, you know on uh, children protection and those issues. So maybe at IGF, what we can uh, do is to help to organize workshops. Unfortunately, we we didn't organize last year, but um, previously we organized several workshops. Uh, I remember that time with the help of uh, uh, Finnish government, they approached several people. And uh, so we can do that for next next year. We can organize again youth workshop with young people only. Sorry for adults, but and uh, we can ask maybe private sector to uh, to ask them what they think about. Also to reach government and to let them more aware what's happening. So that can be one of our action is how to involve more government and. Uh, in private sector, also as yeah, still civil society, yeah. and so on. Okay. Um, yeah, yeah, I think you want to speak. <laughs> I know. Uh, uh, did you go ahead? Okay, thanks. Uh, yes, thank you. Um, just referring to the point on the ladies on, from Sweden, right? Uh, Sweden. Yeah, um, I think we can do something like, um, I think it is somehow difficult for others to approaching the youth in some sense. Um, as we, uh, is existing system, we got, um, we already got some mailing this, I, I think, in, in the coalition. Um, I think we can just like, um, being, uh, posing all the contact persons online and like we, for the, um, for the organizations who has already joined, um, the coalition can be posted on the website, like, and uh, mission like um, um, I mean Chownet or, or even the others organizations they can post post who is um, already in this organization uh, I mean in, in the coalition and also like uh, who is the content person and what is the website and then and the others people from IGF who want to invite the youth to attending different panelists at being panelists or attending different workshops can be um, can be directly contact the persons online because um, we can using platform of um, coalition to be like um, to be like sharing the the uh, informations among the members or even for the outcomers to uh, approaching us or, or how they can reach our members in in our coalition. I think I think I think it's a bit easier for um, and it's an easy way for uh, coalition to be to be done because it's like. And uh, using our ex existing resources and just putting all the information online, and I think it's um, uh, it's the first thing we can do. And the other thing is, um, as we can invite different people to join our coalition, and then we can also like um, giving different kinds of content. If this is children's uh, organization or it is youth co uh, youth organization, they are also put their information into our website. Then it, it can be like. Sharing the information and being a open source for different people to easily approach each other. Okay. Um, well, so uh, if you access to the IGF website, you will find all information about dynamic coalition. You will find about uh, ours, and we have our website. So I'm not sure if we can uh, we I'd say to put online all our members. Not sure good idea. We have many individuals and we discuss a lot through the mailing list. But so we, what I said, we, we need to be more proactive. We, we, we can work to improve the information in our existing website and also to ask maybe we, we, uh, we should update the information in the IGF website. Um, it's also, you know, it's trying to create maybe also some synergy with, within, with other ex existing organizations. You are doing already uh, a lot of work. We just try to coordinate. So, and also because individuals can join us. It's not easy if you are individuals uh, to, to participate. So you can join and you have your say for what's happening and you, you can comment. So we can improve that. There's always room for improvement, and it can be an action. So we, ha we are making a list now. It's kind of brainstorming. When everybody will join, uh, I can send kind of summary, and then people can comment, and then we can go from there to see how we can improve and uh, to, to have a kind of roadmap for the next year or maybe for three years and to see 
how we can assess our uh, success or failure and to see how we can uh, to be involved in uh, not just on IGF but between IGF or other process like you know we have this uh, possible summit in Brazil so how us as uh, young people can uh, can participate to, and to to uh, to find a way to uh, to uh, influence the discussion so we are a coalition it's quite formal there are organizations and individuals, but it's a platform for people to work with them. Okay. Uh, any comment? Hi, Parminder. <laughs> so, uh, yes. So, uh, do you have the mic? It disappeared. No, I'm speaking a lot. I apologize. It's just that, um, like you said, I think there's so much potential, and I'm sure you all have done a lot within this and uh, forum already. One of the ideas that just comes to mind is we heard some of the youth speakers at the workshop. They really had really good things to say. Maybe this uh, coalition can, and I'm sure you have a structure of governance. Maybe you have a chair and you have a committee, or maybe if not, maybe that can be set up. Maybe some of the speakers can submit submissions before, and that can be printed in a kind of a, you can choose the topic. This was a multi-stakeholder enhancing. And maybe the youth perspective that they're bringing into different forums can be published as a newsletter and disseminated also widely. And it doesn't only have to be youth speaking at the forums. Maybe some other youth can also contribute, and that newspaper can be you know, widely circulated so that if I'm not in the workshop, I can still read about the youth perspectives, and I think young people really prepare well. It's quite a lot of preparations to come here, and maybe that can be done. Maybe young people can also interview some of the experts that are here already attending. Maybe that platform can be given, so even that can also be featured in the website. I don't know. It's just some of my ideas on how youth can engage before and after, and I think a newsletter of the papers that are already being submitted in the forums and uh, on a particular topic that has been prioritized as a theme for the IGF, I think those, those would be very interesting for us also. Yeah, yes, I think so. Uh, I think we can coordinate many initiatives or help, uh, you know, to, to share information and to uh, create synergy. But um, so it looks like we have a lot of things to do. <laughs> and this means that we need uh, a lot of volunteers. And I hope people that to uh, commit to do a lot of work till... Uh, IGF Istanbul. So, um, I guess now we, yeah, we have this small group of people. I hope that you join, and then we can continue the discussion and how uh, we can do like this IGF reports reporting from youth perspective. It can be interesting, kind of social reporting maybe, uh, blog posting and so on. Um, uh, did I miss something, or you want to? Uh, um, okay. Well, um, oh. so no, no remote participant. Yeah, <laughs> maybe never. Okay. So because this is the last day of uh, IGF, and uh, after four days, I think people are getting tired, <laughs> or they are already thinking how to enjoy the some tourism in Bali. But it's also uh, a way to think what we can do for next time. Okay, uh, any comment, any question, any suggestion? You know, it's, uh, we don't necessarily ha we need to have one hour and a half meeting, one hour, but just if we can get some point, action point, that's much more uh, effective as outcome. Um, actually, I believe that um, we that mission are well, very willing to help um, in contacting different kinds of organizations because um, actually we have set up the YGF camp in Singapore, in South, Asia, uh, South Korea, and also Japan. Actually, we have different connections to invite more youth organizations to join us, and we believe that we are eager to um, help manage 
the website so that we can have a better facilitation between different kinds of existing organizations. And we hope that we can take the initiative to contact them so that we can invite them to join the pre-event maybe for next year or other workshop that we hold for the next year. Okay. Yes, I just wanted to say that uh, last year in Azerbaijan, we uh, brought a group of uh, Nordic youth delegates uh, who uh, shared their own session, which I thought they did very well. well, well <laughs> they had a meeting prior in June last year, prior to the Eurodig meeting, which was held in Stockholm. And this Nordic youth meeting was uh, only made once, uh, unfortunately, it was one, uh, one time project and uh, it was I was sad to say because a lot of the youth participating in this uh, Nordic group they were very eager to continue their engagement but unfortunately we didn't have any organization or platform for them but I will advise them now to contact this youth coalition uh, because we still have a Facebook group uh, with the kids who are there and uh, after the Nordic Youth Forum in Stockholm, we made this publication, a report uh, on what was said, uh, which was spread um, in uh, Baku uh, last year's IGF, and I also brought some of them here. Some of you might have received it in the, in the conference bag, but I, I had some extra copies that have been distributed on tables. And if someone would like to uh, receive a copy, please uh, just leave me your email address uh, or postal address okay. and uh, I will send it to you. Thanks. I'm not sure that it was in the bag. No, uh, there was just a few copies okay. uh, delivered here okay. uh, and by coincidence they, I was offered to put them in the conference bag. <laughs> okay. So I didn't know that on before but we, are, we still have a lot of copies and if you would like to read what use, Nordic use thinks about internet governance, you're most welcome to approach me and I will send you one. Thanks. If you have here, it's more easy to distribute. But you, you really highlighted the interesting point that, I, you know, uh, for me, the first IGF was in Rio de Janeiro, so it was 2007. That's a long time ago. And I, I think it's one of the issues that sometimes you, they bring young people, but there is no continuity. They don't necessarily continue to attend. And I think that we, we lose that uh, opportunity to have them more involved. But some, they continue to be involved with somehow, but many, I think, they withdraw or give up or, you know, to move other, other stuff. It's really how we need to think or to suggest what kind of continuity we need to have um, for young people to be involved with that. We count, I think, a lot on, on organization. The problem we cannot count in the IGF itself because it has its own problem for funding. And uh, before, when I attended, it was like, I think, the Swiss government, Canada, they give some funds to provide fellowships, but there is no, I think, anymore. So we need, mm, how to say, more, more funding, more resources to be bring young people and to let them continue the whole process. It's not just about IGF. We have other venue they can participate, like ICANN, which can be much more maybe difficult. But uh, also, you mentioned about uh, Orodig. There is also this regional and national IGF. And this is, I think, the start that can be much more easy to to participate and to be involved. Uh, they mentioned the Asia Pacific. IGF I was there in uh, I saw them in Japan uh, at the time it was last year. That's an interesting experience to, to be continued. I know for Uridig they also have, I'm not sure the name, European, uh, kind of something before the, the IGF, it's media something, I forget the name, sorry. But also uh, in Germany they have, uh, okay, it's in German, which means youth IGF. I think in UK also they have. Uh, you have IGF and so on. That's kind of experience that's more easy to... Uh, but for us as coalition, what we can do is share practices, information, but that's really up to organization to, uh, to set up such, such things. 
Okay, any any other comment? Well, we almost uh, one hour. I think we may, if there is no real, how to say, any comment question, if we can, if to do some wrap and to really trigger in some action. So we get several um, suggestions. It's really how to improve the participation of uh, young people in the process. So we have, uh, we can have as a goal for like what we can improve things for the next IGF in Istanbul. Uh, first, uh, you join the mailing list. We can continue discussion there to in, to involve others who didn't have the chance to to come to here in uh, in Bali. And so we have so we we I will send several points. Maybe I missed some, but then you can uh, you can add what you think was. And we continue this uh, brainstorming uh, process. And I Im I really encourage you to invite other people to join. It's really open. You just send the request and that's all. It's open membership. It's open to everybody. So, and then um, about the structure, we don't have structure, you know, and we started to discuss that in Venus. I, uh, I remember asking uh, someone to make presentation what kind of structure we can have, and then say, no, we don't need kind of steering committee or whatever. It's just really kind of informal. Uh, bottom-up uh, consensus space that we discuss and so on. We, we do a coordination. It's not kind of. I, I, I don't think we that that time we, we need kind of uh, uh, formal structure, but we really need what we need is volunteers to do work, and it worked somehow. We we did some workshops, we discussed it, we submitted statement. So now for a coalition maybe 2.0. We can improve uh, improve that. May we may have maybe informal, um, you know, steering committee or something to have. You know, it's important about the people. Uh, as I said, I'm just trying really to handle this transition, and I want just to give to new people to uh, to take care of uh, the coalition. So let everybody join, continue the discussion, and please uh, check our website. Maybe you can you know, ca take a picture of what we did before and what we didn't do too. So, Okay, if you, there is no any other question or comment, I think we can, let's say, yes. Recon I think we all recognize how selective it is for you to participate, so maybe there can be a greater focus to have more representation from the country where IGF is being hosted. That is, I think, a little bit more easier than getting to, you know, youth from uh, different regions. I mean, it's always really welcome to have diversity, and I know you mentioned diversity as being a challenge. But still, I think uh, given the resource limitations and so many challenges, maybe prioritize participation of youth from the host country and from the region itself. And given that it, uh, it, um, it is hosted in different regions every year, and yes. you, you will have you know, opportunities. So I think prioritizing the host country and that region, I think, will be quite good if the hosting government can make special arrangements uh, in advance to get the voices of the youth and organize some consultations and, and bring that into the IGF itself and then also maybe you know some role in the youth coalition and others I think that would be very good yes um, I, I do agree I think that something lacking is not just about youth but also in, in general we, we really let the, I'd say there are maybe many locals but we don't hear them and they are not really we, we are we are not involving them in the, the different workshops they should be at least maybe one from the region or the country so we we have we, we come from far away and we need to hear them but also we may use the remote participation you know if you cannot bring people they can at least try to attend and it can work so they can also, because maybe it's more easy for them, they can tweet, do blogging, and so on. So can improve that. Yes.
Hi, my name is Hamera, and I'm an ICD NetPoint ambassador. I'm actually here um, on a sponsored trip to the IGF because my teammates and I won an essay writing competition regard, like locally in Hong Kong regarding internet governance, and, I, and we actually re did a research about cyberbullying. And I think that this concept can be created in, in, in not just Hong Kong, but in all around the world. So maybe like there could be like a platform, like maybe a website under the UN in which um, like NGOs all around the world, because it is expensive, right? Like to have to come here, um, NGOs all around the world. That I'm pretty sure um, in every country there is some kind of organization or something that concentrates on child safety, whether it's online or offline. They can submit a proposal in that platform, and then like, and then the UN like to, the proposal says like why they should be chosen to go on a sponsored trip to the IGF and the UN with the budget they have, they can choose one from, a, from each country or something like that. Interesting to have a contest that, that can be <laughs> competitive. <laughs> I mean, and, and, and like for us, right, it, this competition also enhanced our knowledge a little bit. So we didn't come here like just empty handed. We had like, like prior knowledge and at least like cyberbullying or something like that. Yeah, but, yeah, I understand, and I, I, I think yeah, there is that need of uh, capacity building, and I hope it's not just about child protection only or uh, cyber polling, but it's really to understand all internet governance issues. So you, you, you get that idea how, it's, how it works, and then to have an influence, because we, we should not forget that we are talking also about our future. It's, uh, Whatever is happened as a policy, for example, maybe in Brazil next year, it will influence maybe for 10 or 20 years. So we should not just focus on that, you know, particular issue because you are in that age and that time, but really about your in 10, 20 years. Yeah, it doesn't just have to be like NGOs that concentrate on child safety. It could be like child commissions or something like that. Okay. Yeah. But don't forget, yeah, youth is not just about child. That's one of our challenges. Really, we have. A broad range of, um, say, you know, from child, teenager, even young adult, yeah. and so different perspective and different uh, interest in the issue. Yeah. Uh, okay. I forget what I was going to say. Uh, <laughs> yes. So. <laughs> Well, uh, yeah, because when I experienced, for example, for me when I was involved with the experience that influenced me to be in internet governance, it's not about, I was at that time, maybe it was, uh, 26 years old, it was not really about child protection, but it was about internet filtering and uh, censorship, so. To really get like youth involved, the youth has to be here for something related to youth or, or the future development or something. I think that child protection is really going to like make more participation cause, yeah, yeah it's can. just a part but that's what we, we want the youth is to have an opinion on all maybe issues, <laughs> maybe some it can be difficult if you are going to ask young people about IP addressing or IPv6 that can be that can be challenging but maybe when we talk about multi-stakeholderism or uh, the IG process in general that they, they can give a different perspective because, like, for example, uh, about copyright issues and the piracy, we, didn't, we don't hear so much about uh, young people's opinion because there is that we need to change maybe the business model or the regulation, and we need to hear these people, you know, those young people who are the heavy user of uh, those uh, online services. So. Um, actually, I think her main point is that um, the youth condition can be... Uh, facilitator to ask different kinds of NGO to have sponsored trip for different kinds of youth to come to join this conference because uh, what you mentioned is expensive to come and join. So if youth condition can take the initiative and encourage other different kinds of NGO to have sponsored trip for different kinds of youth to come, it would be great because the number of youth to participate in IGF will be large and then we will have a big voice to uh, pre pre present. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, it's okay. <laughs> okay. Any any other comment? Okay, I think we can uh
closed now. Uh, hopefully, we will keep in touch and we follow up, which means it's always important not just to discuss in IGF, in IGF but to have the follow up and to have a clear and concrete action point. So, uh, thanks everybody for joining and hope that we will continue this discussion. You want to have, you want to say something? A comment? Yeah, please. Yeah, first, uh, thank you, and I'm sorry for coming late. I was just attending another forum there. I'm Kenneth Simbaya from Tanzania. I don't know whether what I'll be saying has been said by other previous speakers or not. If it has been said, then I'll be echoing. If not, then I would... What I wanted to say is um, for young people to have what they want in the Internet is for them to take a proactive stance, to be upfront, to start creating imaginally how would they want to see in this internet world and start taking actions now. What is happening now, um, first I'm glad that this uh, uh, forum has been organized which is bringing together young people to discuss issues about internet. But again, to what extent? To me, it's like it's just a drop. If you looked at the content of the the whole program of the the, the IGF, but again, uh, uh, probably even last year we had the same. To what extent are we taking stock of what we agreed last year and see what has happened as a continuation of that? Probably, I would wanted to request that um, we need to push more and take a proactive stage. That's what I'd say. Thank you. Uh, thanks. I think you are echoing what we uh, discussed previously, and that's, yeah. We have to be uh, proactive and to uh, push more and more. That's what, what we can do. Yes, whoa. Oh, finally. We have a remote participant. Yeah, please. Who? Benjamin. Yes, from? Okay. Which mailing list they should join? Because you know he, he feel confused about the mailing list. Maybe yes. He. Yeah, I, can, I cannot give the full uh, let's say URL for the mailing list, but just the website ycig.org. So you can find the information or in dynamic coalition list in the int goforum.org. So you can find it. And by the way, in Africa, it's, uh, there are more than 50 countries. That's it. <laughs> we need to move. <laughs> okay. So, do we have another uh, remote participant? or Just, okay. Benjamin. So, okay, that's mostly that's where you can find our uh, contact information, everything, and just you can join the mailing list. Okay, yes. I think you will have the last one. <laughs> I, just, I just have a question. So is there like a uh, forum on that website where we can continue the discussion? Or is it? I was thinking the mailing list. All right, the mailing list. Okay, all right. But mailing list and then you can, you can respond to whatever question there or just you submit, you know, send email and then. Yeah, okay, no, I it's, uh, No, no, we continue the discussion and send it. And that's it. Okay. Okay, uh, it will be the last, last one. <laughs> um, actually, I would like to ask, after this workshop, will there be any action carried out? Because actually we have so many great ideas, like we have the newsletter, we have the sponsorship, we have the maintainer's website, so will there be any action to carry out? Well, yes, as I said, we have several action points and section. After when you join the mailing list, I will send, uh, how to say, a kind of summary of what we discussed. We also have this. Uh, we can have the transcript. So I can check maybe if I am missing something. All those ideas, and then we can continue the discussion. So I can create a document to summarize all those points. So and we can continue uh, as a follow-up.
So, yeah, it's, so we have, you know, uh, a lot of uh, action points. So then we can discuss about concretely how we will uh, in implement them or if we need to also continue discussion. We need more details and so on. And so if there is some priority and so on. Just workshop, guys. I, I don't worry. I know. <laughs> no worry. I, no worry about that. I know Edmund and uh, Yanis and all dot uh, Asian admission people. So no worry about that. <laughs> so uh, thanks for attending. I think we have quite interesting discussion. More interactive than many other workshops. But good. Thank you, everybody, and uh, I hope that you will have.